If you want to achieve equal size columns in CSS grid, often you do something like grid template columns, repeat number of columns you want, and then one FR. What if I told you that this is not the most accurate way to achieve equal size columns? Let me explain. If I come to 1044 here and let's say I add more content. What do you notice? This second column is now bigger than the first and the third column. But in our CSS, we said one FR, which means that these three columns are supposed to share the same space. Well, when you do something like repeat number of columns one FR, what you're actually doing is mean max auto one FR. And here you can see that the mean is auto, the max is one FR. But in some cases, this auto might affect the space that is supposed to be shared with all the columns. This auto here is going to take the content of a column into account. You can see this column now resizes to match the content in the column. If I go to this 11k here and add four extra zeros, you see now that this column is the biggest followed by this and followed by this. So how can you tell CSS grid that I want all the columns to have the same size regardless of the content coming back here instead of leaving this as min max auto 1 fr you can use min max 0 1 fr this way the mean is not going to be automatic the mean is going to be 0 and the max is going to be 1 fr and this way css grid can distribute the same amount of space to all your columns regardless of the content if i refresh now you can see we have the same size of column here same size here same size here if i stretch the screen we have the same size Size, which in this case fits the content if I reduce the screen you see we have same size regardless of the content but of course this brings a problem because the container is not stretching to fit the content based on what we have told CSS grid we now have this overflow so if you know that your content is going to be as big as this then maybe you want to consider other approaches and approaches instead of having zero as the minimum here you can have 500 pixels as the minimum and then instead of putting a fixed value like three you can put auto fit and in this case case css grid would calculate how many columns you need based on this declaration if you stretch this now you see that it fits everything when it goes down css grid puts it on two columns when you go down again css grid puts it on one column now you see we have a bit of overflow because the minimum is 500 pixels you can consider smaller values that would fit the screen i hope that you have been able to see why just putting repeat 3 1 fr is not the most accurate way of achieving equal size columns if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe for more videos like this and also this video is going to be part of my css grid playlist where i explain different properties related to css grid